Hello, Ray Waldo, the Bishop of Technology here. Be sure and check our website, raywaldo.com, for all the links to the uh, files that you'll need for these uh, episodes. And today I'm going to be showing you how to do a backup of the uh, system that you have using Clockwork Mod. And this should work, although this system, uh, this uh, NT uh, Nook tablet, this is an 8 gigabyte version, but it uh, doesn't matter, 8 or 10, 16, it doesn't make any difference. Um, and it doesn't matter really which version of the uh, ROM you have. You could have stock in it even, and you could still use a uh, Clockwork Mod for a backup. The difference would be that if you had a stock uh, ROM, then you would have to use an external uh, version of Clockwork Mod to get started. But uh, we're going to go ahead and shut it down. It, this is running ICS, but uh, it wouldn't make any difference, stock or whatever. We're going to power off and OK. And when it powers off. Now, if you were using the stock version, if you have the stock ROM and you don't have uh, a custom ROM in, then you would install the Clockwork Mod uh, chip, the SD card, bootable, in the uh, SD card. Uh, slot and you would hold down the nook or home and the power button until it comes up. Okay, Since I already have uh, Clockwork Mod internal into the recovery of this uh, nook, I will just power it on and this one has Sienna Boot so when Sienna Boot comes up it tells you to hold the end button which I am doing for our options. Now I can tell it now using the uh, home key to use the internal EMMC recovery and use the power button to select it and it'll boot up in Clockwork Mod. Otherwise if I hadn't done anything it would go ahead and boot into ICS. Okay here we are at Clockwork Mod. Now this is the same position that you would be if you had stock and you used an external chip. At this point if you wanted to do a backup with stock you would need to remove the uh, Clockwork Mod chip and put a standard uh, chip in that's not bootable and that's what I have in now is an SD card that's not bootable and I can do a backup with that. So I go over here to uh, backup and restore, select it, and do backup. And it found that I have uh, four megs of space and it's going to go ahead and do a backup for me. So it's in the process of backing up the system. Now what will it back up while it's doing all this? It will back up everything, uh, the ROM, the data, everything, uh, so that if you wipe the device and then did a restore, it will restore the system exactly like it is or was the last time I shut it down before I ran the clockwork mod backup. So it's a pretty uh, great tool to have a good backup before you uh, maybe flash a new ROM or before you make some major changes or every once in a while it's good to do a backup anyway because your settings may change, your screens, uh, the, whatever you have on the home screen, whatever uh, icons you install or whatever uh, programs, apps you have installed, all of that is backed up for you automatically. So it's a pretty large backup. It takes about, uh, I think, uh, it takes about two gigs to back up the entire device. Uh, entire thing. So it takes up a lot of your your space on the uh, the device or on the SD card. Uh, so you can't keep a lot of backups on a small card, but uh, you can keep a couple of active backups. So just uh, go ahead and hold on while it's doing the backup so you get an idea how long it takes. But it takes, uh, you know, if you decide to skip, it takes probably about five minutes for the whole Thing, according to how much data and pro how many programs and that kind of stuff you have. And uh, remember, uh, all the files for uh, how to do all this and more direct instructions, written instructions, will be found on the website, raywaldo.com. And uh, we're just finishing up the backup, then it'll have to write a, an MD5 uh, 
for it, and uh, that takes a little while. Oh, it's doing backup. It's doing uh, backing up some more stuff, too. Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. So, anyway, uh, it takes uh, a few minutes to get through, but it is giving you some, some updates of what it's doing as it goes through. So, um, I won't hold you, and, uh, but there's also a little bar. It's kind of hard to see, but the little bar keeps advancing, and you see it moving here. So, it's actually doing stuff as it's going and giving you some back, uh, feedback. Okay, well, that's how you do a backup, and this is also called uh, a Nandroid backup. Uh, you see that on the uh, site sometimes, Nandroid backup. This is a Nandroid backup using Clockwork Mod. Okay, RayWaldo.com, more instruction. Bye.